why you should not consider getting SMP. Number one, what do we start with? If you do not understand light versus dark SMP. That's right. Also, fresh versus healed SMP. Let's intertwine these two. Yes. So let's talk about that. Light versus dark SMP. What are the differences? What do they got to understand? So when you see most scalp micropigmentation treatments done, you're seeing almost like the darkest version of it, right? It's like you're seeing like this like filtered version of it, but not what it's gonna look like long term. Right, filtered with the, the pictures, with the camera, taking the different angles, and also the fresh results, right? Let's intertwine those because when it, when it looks vibrant, it looks fresh, the ink is still wet, right? It needs about, what, four or five days to cure, to soften, so. But it takes longer to get where you're going to be long term. And most people don't understand that. They see that fresh result and that's what they think they're gonna have. And some people gravitate Correct. towards that and some people it's scared. It looks appealing, it looks yeah. great, I get it. I'm not knocking it, but you know, we've been saying this for years about the healed results and healed. I think we have a little difference of opinion, at least a month. Yeah. You're saying at least six months, five months. I'm saying at least six months because it's different. Okay. You're gonna be in the okay. sun, your lifestyle is all, it's all gonna change the yeah. way it looks. But a stark difference is the point. A, a yeah. huge difference between the fresh versus the healed yeah. and also the light versus dark. And let's just, let's just expand on that light versus dark for a second because yeah. I get the concept, you know, this is for hair loss, right? So we wanna get our hair back. Yes. And so logically people are like, I want something potent, I want something dark, I want everything covered. But the compromise is sometimes it doesn't look real, it doesn't look natural, and that's what we're trying to see. And right? natural long term. That's the biggest thing is it's not just sure. for a here and now, it's for sure. the long haul. Long term and also in all facets and all lighting, right? You don't want to look good and bold in, in, in a dim light setting and then go to the beach or go in, in bright lights and all of a sudden you're that guy with the ink on top of it. And it's so sad because it's so apparent. Even when you think it's not, it's like you, your heart goes out to this. And it's common. It's too common. So yes. please, guys. So I think we can segue into our next one. Uh, Do not get SFP if you are not willing to travel. And this okay. doesn't mean come to us. I just want to start off by saying that. Sure. Find somebody that works for you. But you're not, it doesn't mean that you need to find the place down the street. You need to do your research, your due diligence, and find somewhere that's gonna give you the results that you're looking for long-term again. Yeah, and obviously depending on where you live, if you live in a big city, maybe you don't have to travel far. If you live in a small town outside of the city, probably chances are the better artists are gonna be somewhere else. So travel by hour car ride or a couple hours flight, whatever it takes. I liken this to like, you know, plastic surgery. Or let's say you need major heart surgery, right? You know, like, oh, I love that doctor in uh, in another state, but you know, he's 15 minutes away. I got this guy. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll with him. I would say it's closer to plastic surgery though, because you're not gonna sure. just go down the street for something on your face. Like you want to go to the person that's not gonna botch you. It's an important decision, absolutely. And we're saying this because we filled a lot of phone calls with guys that kind of went down the street, and then they call us and say, "Hey, I saw you guys. Wanted to kind of come to you. I wanted to come to somebody else." made the mistake that went to someone close and, and we're hearing their conversation. So we do this very often. Do not get SMP if you are in a rush. I cannot stress this enough. And this yeah. doesn't apply to most of our clients because most of our clients take like two, two years. years. Yeah, which is beautiful. <laughs> it's like a standard yeah, 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 to make sure, sure that they want sure. to come with us. But don't rush. This isn't a haircut. This isn't something right. that you've got a wedding coming up and you just want to get in real quick and yeah. have it done. Exactly. And that's what we hear. We have a big event. I, I, got, I got a reunion. I got a wedding, something coming up. And it's not something to rush into. And I'll also piggyback off of that and say, do your research, yes. right? If you're just yes. going for an event, you don't have ample time to do your research. What's enough time? Everybody's going to be different. A couple weeks, a couple months, year or two, whatever it takes. Again, this is a major decision. Any insight on doing proper research? Again, just a couple months, making sure that the artists that you're going to go to, you feel comfortable, you get the good vibes. It's yeah. not just, oh, okay, it looks like some, uh, some are hit or miss that I can get what I want. You've got to really feel comfortable. This is a big deal and you shouldn't treat it as if it's not. No, that's it. There's levels to this art. Yes. And that sounds so simple and obvious, but it is really important. Go to someone who resonates with you, that you yeah. get good vibes from you, good feels, exactly. who has, has your style. Yep.